Hello everyone, welcome to the Splendor tutorial. Today I want to talk about stabilizing shaky footage to go from a very shaky scene like this to a more stable shot like this. I got the source footage for this tutorial from the corresponding tutorial on videocopilot.net and I'll put the link to that into the description. Okay, let's head into Blender. First of all, make sure that you match the settings of the video that you're going to import. In my case, that's 720p and 33.98 frames, frames per second. And the video is going to be 49 frames long. Switch to the movie clip editor and open the footage. It's this police footage. With Alt A, you can play through the footage and see it's really shaky right now. To compensate for that, we want to drag a point. And down here, the white shield, uh, the white, white number plate and the black car is a very high contrast point. So by control left clicking, we create a tracking point. Display the search area and we might want to increase the search area because the footage is really quite shaky and moves a lot. With the point selected, Press Ctrl T to track forward. And with L we can lock the screen to this point and check pressing Alt A to play to the footage to see, okay, this track stays in place. And that's exactly what we need. Now, how, to, how do we use this to stabilize the footage? When you look on the right side, you can see 2D stabilization. And if you check this, with this point selected and click the plus sign, you add this tracking point to the list of points that will be used to stabilize the footage. Now, right now, you can't see the stabilization in process, so you need under display and if this panel isn't open you can open it by pressing N. Click display stabilization and we can see it tries to keep the point at the number plate exactly in the center of the frame but since it has to move the rest of the frame up and down to do that we can see there will be some empty areas in the actual picture. To compensate for that, we click auto scale and we see it zooms into the image to make sure that it is always filling the entire frame. Now, we don't really want uh, this point at the license plate to stay exactly always in the same place during the whole scene. We still want a little bit of camera movement and to realize that if you see here this track has a location influence attribute and if you lower this it doesn't stabilize that much anymore let's say 0.5 and now if we play through it, first of all, we aren't zoomed in as much as we were before. We still see a little bit more of the environment. And we still see a little bit shake going on. And that's actually uh, something that's quite good because when the camera shakes, we get some motion blur because the camera is moving. And if we would set the location influence to 1, and keep this license plate exactly perfectly stable, that would mean 
the camera would look stable, but we still would have the motion blur and the shot, and that would look look really weird. Now, how to how do we use this stabilization data and actually render it out? We switch to the node editor. Make sure you're using this and not the material node tree. Use backdrop and by control shift left clicking on this we can get a viewer node but we actually don't need the render layers shift a add input movie clip select the movie clip that you just used and we can see it's here in the background just to be on the safe side, you should always add a scale node and set it to render size. So the clip will always be scaled to whatever size you're rendering this out. And now to get the stabilization data, shift A, distort, stabilize 2D, just input this image and make sure you select the police footage because our stabilization data is linked with this police footage that we uploaded in the movie clip editor. And now we can see here it is not zoomed and will move around quite a bit. And here it's zoomed in a bit and the police car is much more stable in the shot. Before you render, don't forget to actually connect the stabilize 2d node to the composite node that will create the output and then just set your files to wherever you want it right here and click render animation to render the full scene out and that way you will have created a stabilized version of that police car shot i hope you found this helpful that's all for now and happy blending